How you doing? I'm Monty McKinnon. Thank you for joining me. I'm really pleased you're here today. Today we're going to show you how we end up drilling the holes into the bridge and get them in a straight line, which is really important if you're going to get the right tension on the saddle. Now you'll recall in the last video we used this jig. Today we're going to use this, but first let's spin that intro. We are back, and I recall the other day we did this where we had the bridge set up in here, wedged in here, and we cut the slot. You've seen that in the last video. I ended up taking a piece of bone, and I cut this, and it fits in there absolutely perfect. It is really excellent. So that jig worked out very well for us. Now, we're going to use this jig today. And I've already cut the holes in the one bridge that we're going to do, and you'll see me cut them in a second bridge because we can, and that's what we want to do. So we're going to drill a bridge in less than two minutes, and it's so easy to do. What we have is a base piece here. This is cut on an angle that matches the angle here. And the reason for that is we're going to take this as a carriage and we're going to place our bridge into this carriage and then what we do is we wedge it in place let me just do that okay i'll just put the one wedge in there and i've marked on here the front of the of the jig to note where the actual uh, bridge has to go and we don't want to make a mistake and you, you could turn it around and end up making a mess of it so the back of the bridge is here the front is up here and i've written on here which i like to do on some of these because you forget this is nine millimeters in from the saddle slot so what i did is i put this in and then i measured a line back on either side and then I marked nine millimeters and then drew a line and that became the line where I want to put all of these holes. So I came inboard of the edge. Now this slot is 70 millimeters across so I came in six and I came in six. So that leaves me the 57 and so I have here some maple blocks which I ran through the thickness sander and cut to exactly 57 of uh, 57 thousandths of an inch. So the, the beauty of that is it allows me for string spacing. So while this is now set up as a separate piece and we know we've got this, this sits on the platform as you'll see in a moment when I drill the second uh, set of uh, holes in the bridge this sits on top like so and it slides back and forth like this and it's on an angle because this board is on an angle and that gives me an angle that is parallel to the saddle slot that is here now in order to get this right what i've done what I've done, my mentor is the one who actually came up with this idea. This marks where the first hole will go. You draw a line across the 70 millimeter, you come in the six, you draw another line, and we know that that's where we're gonna start with the high treble E. So we drill that, and you drill that right through so that you'll see in a probably another video or two, we're gonna be bolting this onto the top of the guitar, and I'll show you how we do that when we glue it up. So what's happening is here, when I come to the next string, which is the B string, I put that spacer in here, and boom, it's 57, and it's perfect. Then I come to the next string, the G string, I put another one in, and then it slides along. And then I come to the next string, the G string, and I put it in, and it's perfect. 
then I come along to the D string and it's perfect and then I come along to the A string and then finally to the bass E string and I drill each of these holes now it's not hard to do this this is two minutes of work and that's why this is a such a short video and I just wanted to put it up today and show you how a jig makes life so much easier when you're building a guitar so I thank my mentor and and you know it's really neat the way these things work because it gets the job done and it done it's done perfectly it's done right so while we're set up I just did a double check here to make sure that this is all right for a second bridge because we're, we're set up we might as well do another one because I'm going to need it eventually anyway and I can see it's running along the line just perfectly so I think we're ready to go and let's do another one just because we can remember the uh, we're starting with the high E and the treble E and we're going to go right through now to the B string It's all good so that's it so thank you very much for joining me I told you it was going to be a short video or if I didn't it's going to be a short video today so thank you very much I'm gonna have my English breakfast tea because I can and then uh, I'll see you in the next video thanks so much don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button and by the way there are some links down below are you following me on Instagram because on the Instagram account I have all kinds of pictures that I put up of this stuff in advance usually but you'll see I don't know I think there's about 1650 1700 pictures up there that you can take a look at at the various guitars that I've made in the various stages of the guitars so go for it and I also put up on Twitter so you can follow me on Twitter as well so thank you very much friends we'll see you in the next video bye for now